welcome to another painting tutorial with me, Pete, from Mini War Zone. And today we're going to be looking at leather effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in this instance, we're going to look at this uh, this holster for a pistol that this Space Marine has. To start us off, we're going to be using Rhinox Hide with a heavy helping of Le Mans Medium. Okay, so. Good dollop of Rhinox Hide and a good dollop of the medium. That serves to get us uh, <coughs> the right texture or the right, the right texture, the right consistency of paint that we're looking for. Quite watery, but not too watery. So let's fill the pouch, holster, whatever it might be, leather strap, with the Rhinox Hide all over, completely cover it, forming our base coat. Okay, next up is Scrag Brown. Uh, we're not using medium to thin this down, we're using water. And uh, we want to thin it down quite a bit, so for every dollop of uh, paint over, you want quite a large drop of water for this. And the reason being, you want it to go on really thinly so that in places the Rhinox hide will show through. And you only want to go over the main areas of this, don't go all the way to the edges. Leave, all, leave the recess particularly in any shadowed areas that you might have. So if you get the, like I say, the darker Rhinox hide showing through, that's brilliant, that's exactly what you are looking for. Well, I am what I do. Being on the sides, all the sides, everywhere that you want the leather look to go. And last up is Deathclaw Brown, and again we're watering it down with just plain water. Not as much as the Scrag Brown, no, just just how you would normally thin down your paints for this. Now, on this one, we're going to go around all the edges. Okay, I just changed my brush out on that one because that one was a bit too splayed for my liking. So, yes, just go around all the very edges that you want to stand out. And that's pretty much it, really. You can go further if you want to, you can make like a glaze to go over the top of that. Um, depending on where the item in question is, you could put a wash of Agrax Surf Shade on top of that, but for the most part, it's not really necessary. Not if you want a, just a basic tabletop standard. But yes, like I say, you can go on put a glaze over the top of that. And I'll, I'll show how to make up glaze mediums for your own colours in a different video, but yeah, that's essentially it. So all I've done there is I've uh, coloured the handle and the barrel just to give it a bit more visual interest, but as I say, there it is, leather effect. The leather holster from his bolt pistol or whatever it is he's carrying. It could be supplies, anything. But there it is. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one, guys.